Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Adopted Dog Brewing. I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. And I'm Megan Glover. Megan, Cajuns fans packed inside of this place to see if their team would be hosting a softball regional, and they will get a chance to do that after hearing their names called. It will be their first time doing it since 2016. You know, Jamarcus, the projections coming into today was that they would be the 14th seed, but the Cajuns have actually landed as the 13th seed as they'll host Baylor as the second seed, Ole Miss as the third seed, and Princeton as the fourth seed, who they'll see on Friday afternoon. Absolutely. And you could just sense the amount of excitement from not only the fans, but from the players and also head coach Jerry Glasgow. We're just thrilled to host. You know, it took us seven years to get a host. And uh, we worked hard. We played a really brutal schedule to get in this position. And I'm proud of my team. I'm proud of my girls for all the effort. And to fight through that early season, the uh, out of conference schedule that we played was brutal and they didn't quit. And the Cajuns will begin their quest towards Oklahoma City when they host Princeton at 430 at Lampson Park. And Megan, when you really think about it after talking with Coach Glasgow, he said the thing that separated his team were the key victories that they picked up this season, including against Oklahoma, LSU, and a team that's in this regional in Baylor. Absolutely, and Baylor was a top 25 team early on in the season when the Cajuns were able to steal one game from them. But speaking with him and some of the other people, including pitcher Sam Landry, they said that knowing these teams well and even playing Ole Miss last season brings a lot of familiarity and confidence going into the regional. <laughs> You know, we're going to have an advantage as in uh, we've already scouted them so we can go off of what we, we learned from them last time we played them. But there's also the disadvantage of they've scouted us and they know what we can do. So it's still going in, doing what we have to do, not taking it for granted. Speak to the familiarity of the teams, especially beating Baylor early on in the season. Oh, yeah. I mean, we played Ole Miss last season. We kind of were familiar with them. We know what they got. They know what we got. And Baylor, it's going to be a good rematch for sure. Baylor's got a great ball club. They've got a great coach. Uh, it's, it's going to be a, it'll be good. Ole Miss has been, you know, they're an SEC team that's won four or five games here down the stretch. So that'll, that'll be a great matchup and you can get either one of those teams. We just take whoever we get. Albeit two of those teams, Ole Miss and Baylor being down here in the South, Glasgow says that Princeton and their fans will be the ones that he's probably most excited for, hoping that they pick up some crawfish on their way out. Absolutely, Megan. So it will be a crazy atmosphere and a ton of excitement, and you can bet your bottom dollar that KATC will be in the house with all of your coverage on social media and on air. But for now, for Megan Glover, I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick for KATC Sports.